Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you how to create this infinity card animation in Figma step by step and in detail and help you adjust the speed of it. Instead of images, you can use logos or text. The process is the same. Let's see how we can do it. Here I have a frame with a header and a title and several images. I want to have three categories animation, movies, and series. So I'm going to select all the animation covers and set them as auto layout. Set the gap between them to 8 and do the same for the other two categories. Be careful that the size of all your images should be the same. Okay, now rename the first one to inner one the second one to inner 2 and the third one to inner 3 you can see all of them here in the layer section by selecting inner 1 and hitting enter or return on your keyboard all the images in inner 1 will be selected use ctrl or command c and then ctrl or command v to copy and paste them so you will have two sets of images. We had six images before and now we have 12. Do the same thing for the other two. Now we have three frames called inner 1, inner 2, and inner 3. And each of them contains 12 images, two set of six images. Now select inner 1 and right click on it. Choose frame selection. By doing this, we put inner 1 into the new frame, which here is frame 10. I'm going to rename it to outer 1. Now we need to adjust the width size of outer one to match the size of our desktop frame where the result is going to be shown. The width size of my desktop frame is 1440. So I click on outer one and change its width to 1440. You can see what happened here. By activating the clip content option, only those images that fit in outer one are shown. If I hover my cursor on it, I can see the ghost of them. They are still there, but we do not see them. If I deactivate the clip content, I can see them again. So when we open the outer one layer, we can see that we have inner one in it, which consists of 12 images. Let's do the same for the other two. Okay, here we have outer 1, outer 2, and outer 3. Now we need to animate each of them. Let's start with the first one. We need to get a copy of outer 1 here. Change the name of the first one to outer one one and the second one to outer one two to make them easier to recognize. Now select outer one two, hit enter or return on your keyboard to access the inner one layer or you can open the outer one two layer and select the inner one layer. The important thing about this part is to be sure you are selecting the inner one layer, not the outer one too. Then start to shift it to the left by holding the left arrow key and shift key on your keyboard. Keep shifting until you reach the third image, which here is Garfield. For exact alignment, you can use grids.
Here I need to shift it a little to the right. So I'm careful to select inner one, not outer one too. If I shift outer one too, this will happen, which is not correct. Here you might have this question, why do we jump over the second image, I mean the Minions image, and put the third image, Garfield? The answer is because of the speed. Here we have six images. Six is an even number, so we can shift every other image. If we have an odd number of images, for example seven or nine, then we need to shift one by one. I will explain more, don't worry. Okay, duplicate outer one two and rename it to outer one three. Again, select inner one by hitting enter or return on the keyboard or select it manually from the layers and shift it to the left to reach Moana. Repeat this process until you reach the first image again. The last frame should look the same as the first one. We don't need these grids anymore, and now we need to set them to a component. Select all of them, and from the drop down menu here on the top, select Create Component Set and rename it to 1. Go to the prototype section and connect the first frame to the second one and set it to after delay and change the time to 1 millisecond. Change it from instance to smart animate and from ease out to linear and set the time to 5000 milliseconds. I have tested this before and found that 5000 milliseconds is good speed for this design. You can try different speeds to find the best one for your design. Do the same thing for the next two frames. For the last one, connect it to the first frame and set it to after delay with 1 millisecond time. But this time, set it from Smart Animate to Instant. It means when it completes one round, it instantly goes to the first state and start moving again. Okay, we finished the first one. Let's get an instant from it. Put it on our desktop frame and check it out. It works perfectly. Now we need to animate the other two. As you can see here, the images in the next frame are not aligning with the first frame. They look like a brick wall. So we need to shift the first image until half of it is visible. Also, we can see the second frame is shifting in the opposite direction of the frame 1. For animating the second frame, first we need to use the second set of our images. Here, I deactivated the clip content and see all the images. You can see the second Oppenheimer image here. We need to start with this one and shift the inner frame to the right this time. For doing this, select outer 2, hit enter to select inner 2, and shift it to the left by arrow keys on the keyboard to reach the second Oppenheimer image. So if I deactivate the clip content again, we can see that this time the outer two frame is on the second set of images. For having a brick wall display, we need to shift the images more until half of the first image is visible. Select the inner two layer and shift it to the left again until half of Oppenheimer is visible. Now we can see how it looks like a brick wall when we put it under frame 1. 
Okay, let's duplicate them. Rename them and prototype them exactly the same as what we have done with frame 1. Remember, here we need to shift to the left and half of our first images should be visible. We can check to be sure we are doing it right by deactivating the clip content. Now select all of them and create a component set. Call it number 2 and prototype it. Okay, the second frame is ready to test. This one is animated exactly like the first frame. Okay, let's put an instant of the last frame into the desktop frame and check it out. Oh, there's a mistake here. It stops for a few seconds. Let's check where the problem is. Okay, the first one is correct. Whoops, the second one has a problem. It's set to 800 milliseconds instead of 1 millisecond. That's why it stopped for a second, because it had a delay of 800 milliseconds. Oh, the third one has this problem too. The last one is okay, and let's check it again. Now it works perfectly. So let's explain more about the speed and the reason why we shifted every other image, not one by one. Here we had 6 images. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So we can shift the first image to the third, the third to the fifth, and the fifth to the first. But if we have 7 images and we shift them with the same pattern, at the end, we don't reach the first frame again. In this sample, we need to see inside out at the first image and the last frame. But by following the pattern, the next two images will be minions. In this case, we need to shift one by one. Now, after prototyping them, we can see the speed of this one is slower than the other three. The reason is it moves one by one. We use the time of 5000 milliseconds for all of them. Let's try half of this time, which is 2500 milliseconds for the frame with 7 images. Now they all move at the same speed. You can try less time to see more speed. Another thing you can do is add a shadow to the middle frame to make it appear higher than the other one.
And here is how we can make the infinity card animation in Figma. If this video was useful to you, please like it and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, feel free to write them in the comments. Thank you for watching.